upstairs. All right, guys, hopefully it works this time. What's going on? It's Josh, Accountability for All. And we are at a uh, jail conducting a First Amendment audit. We're with Granite State Livestream. Check her out, formerly known as Granite State Transparency. And also, we're rolling with hashtag a tow truck girl. Um, we're just a moment away from our destination, and hopefully, people get the notification this time. But we're going to be there in just a second. We're conducting a First Amendment audit. There we go, Malone. What's going on? Now they're starting to come in. So we're conducting a First Amendment audit here, and we're with Granite State Live Streams and hashtag got tow truck girl. We're going to see if they respect our right to film in a public space, and if uh, wherever we're going. So we go around and Hey, uh, the pen and the sword says hi. Hi. Go on my channel. So you can check her out, uh, Granite State live streams, guys. Uh, she's going to be going live in a moment, also. I like to give people a second to file in. What's up, Jaybird? So we are. We're here right now. We're just trying to find a place to park so they don't get our tags. Um, you know, it's it's surrounded by it's surrounded by public access. Um, so we definitely won't have an issue uh, and we'll be well within our rights recording from the public access but the whole jail is public access so I'm uh, you know I'm gonna go in anyways and if they if they challenge me I'm willing to you know take that challenge what's going on borrowed time hey guys everyone share this live stream so we can get as many people watching as we can it's gonna be crazy guys we're going live at a uh, at a jail we're, go ahead on and we're just a moment away so I'm just giving some people time to tune in and Pen and Sword says hi to you too also. So you can uh, watch it here, you can uh, show her some love, share the channel, like it, and um, you, she can also go live. Oh, I dropped my handy dandy gun lock that I just got from the Londonderry Police Department. All right, guys, this one's going to be crazy. Um, we are at a uh, at a jail in New Hampshire. I'm going to let you know as soon as we get across the street. But I'm um, surrounded by public access. What I'm hearing is they they will not accept cameras inside. They have a serious problem with it. Um, and you know we're going to just you know do a perimeter walk around. But I'm going to challenge it. I'm going inside. We had this same issue at the um, MCI Cedar Junction. 14 cops from four different cities came. And how did that end? Well, we were illegally trespassed and the police had to allow us to go right back inside. Uh, we had a similar issue at the Middleton Jail, so we're gonna challenge them on that if they have a problem with it. So let's take a look. Right there. Up. Oh, what's going on? Think people recognize we we thankfully I mean not great but sometimes we get recognized more often than not and these guys get tipped off so that's why I'm not announcing the actual location until we get there because I want their reaction to be genuine whether it's to welcome us or to give us a hard time I want it to be because that's how they react not because they got a heads up What is the gold border on the flag mean? Huh? Which flag are you looking at? What's going on, Danny boy? Pinnerin, what's going on? And I think I feel safe in letting you guys know where we're at. We are in New Hampshire at the Valley Street Jail. Conducting a First Amendment audit. We're with hashtag hot tow truck girl. We're with Granite State live streams, formerly known as Granite State Transparency. Check her out on her channel. Let's go take a look. Thanks, Tyler. If any of my moderators want to put a link to Granite State Livestream's channel, that'd be great. Go back between the two so you can get both points of views. Oh, 
Oh, got some love from the folks behind. Yep, not going to do it. Stay up, fellas. You guys, behave yourself. Be good. Oh man, we can't wait to get to Chicago. We are going to Chicago on the 27th. Hashtag Hot Tow Truck Girl and myself are flying out. And we're gonna um, meet up with Accountability for Chicago, hopefully Joe Cool, um, and Constitutional Kevlar, and we're gonna uh, hold some tyrants accountable for their illegal actions because photography and recording is not a crime. Yes, we are at the Valley Street. There you go. Oh, thank you, Jaybird. Put up a link to um, Granite State's channel. Lois Holland has missed you so much. All right, guys, we're gonna be going inside. Run out of memory. With hashtag hot torture girl, look at her outfit, she's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. That's nice. Here you go, guys. Let's take a look. Hopefully, they don't get triggered over our camera. Hopefully, they respect our rights. There's a side entrance. Always oh, stand our ground. Uh, Jeff, I'm not sure. Let us know, man. Video is crazy, Jason. This is just a sign. Yeah, inmates, basically. Yeah, restriction. No food or drink. Guys, share this video, make it go viral. There is a metal detector here. There's no sign. Here we go. All visitors are required to show proof of identity. Well, we're not a visitor to an inmate. We're not gonna see an inmate. We're conducting ourselves appropriately. You see anything about cameras on there? I don't, I don't see know. anything about cameras. Nothing about cameras. What's going on, Matt? We're just conducting a First Amendment audit here at the um, Valley Thank Street you. Jail. Are we supposed to pick up the phone? I don't know. It just beeped. I'm not going to. For assistance, please pick it up when it rings. Hello? Uh, we're just taking a look, ma'am. We're all set. Thank you. Uh, no, we're just taking a peek around the lobby. All right, thank... No, no, we're not here like to visit an inmate or anything. We're just checking out the, the public lobby and, and taking a look. 
Thank you. All right, guys, if you couldn't hear, he said, um, are you, what are you doing here? And I said, we're just taking a look. He said, are you here to visit an inmate? I said, no. Um, and then he said, well, what are you doing here? I said, you know, just pretty clear, taking a look around the lobby. And he said, okay, bye-bye. So I don't know if that means that he's okay with it or he'll just come talk to us in person. But there's nothing on the, even if the sign did say something where it was illegal, they didn't want us to film, it'd be an unconstitutional sign. So I would take that as a request and that's when I would not have to honor. Um, yeah, you know, I can have a sign that says, you know, when you go to any McDonald's, it's legal to kick a puppy in the face. But because it's a sign doesn't mean it's worth the paper it's written on. I don't want to speak too soon, but as whenever I have been to a jail, it's usually they're right out here giving us a hard time right away. So knock on wood, I don't want to speak too soon, but this is all right so far. <laughs> wow. Huh? I love people that, that will analyze our life and they, you know, they'll tell us everything that we do wrong, but not for a second would they ever get up to do it themselves. And if a cop asks for ID, they'll search themselves. Because they have an STD, they're scared to death. All right. Yeah, guys, so the issue... Um, oh, man, there you are. So, just so you know, the video I released today, um, he assaulted me with the Bill Ricca PD. They had so many calls and so many people started, you know, letting them know that what they did was wrong. Uh, they actually reached out to me. They said they couldn't field phone calls from citizens or for emergencies because they would get flooding with calls. Uh, they took the incident very seriously. I have a meeting with the deputy chief on Monday. Someone from internal affairs or some sergeant is calling me today. They're taking it extremely seriously. So I um, asked people to, if they were calling them, uh, to, you know, stop calling them since the situation is now in hand, but they're taking it very seriously. Oh, we waved. Hi. <laughs> oh, we can see in there. See through this? Yeah, I can see. Oh, you can really see, though. Mm-hmm. Is that like a dispatch center? Yep, this looks like the control the room. And stuff. Well, they've created privacy. So they're being piecing around. Yeah, well, they're not bothering us. You know, I actually am. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with with how they're doing. That's the control room, guys. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. It is not how these officers died that made them heroes. It is how they lived. Well, how they live and how they act is gonna be their legend and be their memorialization in in time. So hopefully they continue to do the right thing, at least here. Oh, I guarantee you they, they need winter coats because there's so much AC blowing. All right, guys, if they were going to make contact, they would have already. So I'm actually very pleased with how they're doing. Uh, this is the visitor center. So if you come to see somebody here, you would sit on that phone and they would sit on the other side and you'd be able to have your visit with your family um, or, or whoever it is that's visiting you or, or whoever you are visiting. I'm just going through the questions now. If they want some bacon. You know, here's what I'm going to say. Um, these guys aren't violating our rights. I don't hate all cops. I hate bad cops, and I've had the unfortunate pleasure of meeting plenty of them. 
But when you have cops like this, I always say I would rather them just straight up ignore me than asking me if I need help. Um, and I'm not going to be verbally combative with people that are doing the right thing. And if they're honoring their oath, they're doing the right thing. So I'm going to let them know that I appreciate them being so nice. Oh, hold on. Hello? Well, there's no number for me to call, so I don't know how to call. Well, I guess I won't let them know that they did a good job. But they did a good job so far. That wouldn't be very interesting. No. I'm just going to let them know real quick. You guys did good. Oh, there's prisoners moving through. Maybe someone's coming to talk to us. Hey man, you guys are being really nice, so we were letting you know that. I appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate it, man. Could you do me a favor, though? What's what's that? So, uh, the control room's secure area, so please don't videotape inside there. Um, all right, so here's the thing, right? Um, so, who are you? Man, your hand's about? shaking. I don't know. You seemed like you're pretty nervous. Calm down, but it's all right. That's your First Amendment right. Uh -huh. um, so anything that's not secure or says unauthorized access, we don't have bad intentions. We obviously wouldn't go back there. For privacy, this is a public place that has to create, be created. So that is a... Uh, right here, sir? This yep. is it. My yeah. control room's not public. Right, and I'm okay. not in there, but I can't trespass what my eyes can see. So if I can look in there, I'm not, you know... Hey, do me a favor. Again, I'm going to ask you, don't... So you can fill around here is fine, but my control room's off limits. Are we clear? Well, I'm not going in, but I'm going to have to tell you, if I... What are you, Lieutenant, what's your uh, name? Lieutenant Cunningham. Cunningham. And yeah. your name, sir? Jordan. Jordan, and your name? Sergeant Domenico. Sergeant Domenico. Who are yeah, you? I'm not to answer that question. Okay. Um, but you know what, like I was saying, here's um, what if I look in there, here's what I can look you. in there. That's here's legal for me to do. But you're filming it. So here's right. What I'm tell you. Well, that's an extension of myself. It's freedom of the press. Is this a public place? Okay, again. Because you guys are doing public. great until right, I appreciate right now. It. Right now, though, I'm going to ask you to leave the premises. So I'm being You're trespassed? Different. Yes, you are. Okay, so I haven't been issued a trespass notice yet. I'm not going to give you one. I'm giving you an order to leave. So Otherwise, I can't be... I contact Manchester PD. Well, uh, you, can con you can contact them. I okay. mean, I, if, if they provide me a legal trespass notice that says it's legal for me to be here, okay. then, I mean, I would follow lawful command. Are you a police officer? I'm a sworn member of the of law enforcement in the I state mean, of New Hampshire. You guys are doing great, and then to come out here and do and this. I, so, so, I what, so, so what, what laws are we breaking? Because I've done this to M. My staff. I don't How? How so? Do. I'm not here. I mean, you guys are you making contact with us. I, I, I gave you respect. You asked who we were speaking to. You well, you're trying to violate my rights. Well, you, you won't be cooperative with me. What, what so cooperation are you seeking from me? I asked you who you were to identify yourself. So are you telling me that you're going to trespass me from a public place because I'm filming, because I won't provide I you my you're name? In, you're interfering with my staff when I gave you instructions to leave. Well, you're, I'm are not we interfering. What I your know. issue is is you're saying I'm looking in there and you don't want me looking in there. That's correct, so don't. Okay, so it's, it's a, you have to create that privacy. There's okay. no expectation of privacy in public. Here's my expectation. Now, you can't give me a lawful command to leave because... I most certainly can. I've not been issued a trespass did. notice. I'm not giving you a trespass. And you're not... A, okay. I'm telling you to leave. So you're building. asking me to leave. I'm telling you to leave. I'm asking you. I'm advising you to leave. And I'm ordering you to leave. Well, you can't give me a Are lawful we command. We need to move. So, if, I mean, I wouldn't put your hands on me. That would probably... You know, that that would well, definitely be illegal. It would be assault. But if you want to contact the Manchester police, you're more than we welcome. We absolutely will. Because um, we did the same thing at the MCI yep. Cedar Junction. And yep. after they did what you're doing now, we were allowed to go right back in. Yeah, guess what? Well, you won't be tonight. Okay, okay. well, if you'd like to call the police, that's fine. So right now, I want, to, I want to understand. You are saying that you have the legal ability to issue me a lawful command. Get out of my facility. Goodbye. All right? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call the Manchester police right now. First of all, you can back up. Because this is my personal well, space. This is, this is my facility. So. All right. Well, you got a lot of people watching you, huh? Um, Do we? How many? How many? Um, well, I don't answer questions. I've been waiting oh, to say right, that. Oh, that's right. Because you don't want to. Right. Yeah, I don't have to. Goodbye. So we're going to contact the Manchester police. You can call them yeah, first so if you want. And we're going to. So I'm right done. now, I'm done you're telling me it's a lawful right. command under Maybe, penalty can I of have what? Name by chance? No. no. Okay. See, it's only it's only one way street with you. Well, you work for me. I don't work for you. Okay. You're right. You don't. Right. That's you're right. dismissed. Goodbye. And this guy comes out here. Look at this. His hand is shaking. I, I, when it when the pressure's on with you, like how many people have you beat today? 
How many people's rights have you violated have today? Have a good one. Yeah. You know what that's called, what you're doing? Yeah, have a nice day. You know what this is called, though? What? I will answer one question. Walk a shame. Not for me, pal. Hashtag bye, Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, people always say, well, you know, don't leave, don't leave. I could stand here and let them try and bundle me and stuff like that. <laughs> but here's what I'm going to do. He said it was a lawful command, and he had the ability to arrest me. So now I'm going to take his lawful command. I'm going to contact the Manchester police because if I stay there, there's no violation of my civil rights. But if he makes me leave because I'm filming, then he's violated my civil rights. So the moment I walk out that door, like I just did, my civil rights were violated and I was retaliated against for filming because he didn't create privacy in a public place. So now we're going to contact the Manchester Police Department and we're going to let them know the reason I stopped them today. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to be going back in. So let's take a look. Um, Hot Dog Truck Girl, can we contact the Manchester Police Department? Click, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, no, I want to stay on the, on the property. I want to hold the fort down. Because he didn't even make me leave. He was just like, you should leave. But here's the thing. Now I want to. I want you to violate my rights. Until they come? Because of how aggressive he was. That's yeah, he was pretty aggressive and dangerous. I love you guys. What's that, bro? <laughs> I love you guys. You know who we are? Yeah. What's Gosh. our name? Gosh, oh, man. What's going on, brother? Happened? It's I'm a pleasure Joe. to meet you, Joe. I talked to you on Facebook. No shit. Yeah. All right, man. How you doing? I'm watching you live, but I can't get on mine. It's under my girl's name. <laughs> right, we'll just call the police now because we have a serious tyrant alert, and we're going to be going right back in there to teach him a valuable lesson. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, well, Sergeant Tyrant Fatso is about to learn right now that um, accountability for all is out to educate the public. It's a free education we're offering him today. Good to you, man. Nice. Stay in touch. Thanks for swinging by to say hi. Sorry to bug you. You're all right, man. It's not. Never, never a bug. It will breach the Manchester Police Department. If this is an emergency, press one now or any time during this message. Please choose one of the following. You can, Lois. Just get out there and, um... Or crime or to reach dispatch, press one. For the records to be, to include court questions, obtain a contract, go to... All right, guys, so um, we went in there. He told me that uh, I could film whatever I wanted. I just couldn't film his dispatch room, but it's public. Communication Supervisor Boven, this line is recorded. Hi, Supervisor Bozen. I am, Boven, excuse me, I apologize. I'm requesting police assistance at the Valley Street Jail at the main entrance, please. What emergency is going on, sir? Uh, so I'm here at the jail and I am, um, you know, I was just taking a look around the lobby. It's a public place. Um, one of their sergeants came out and um, he told me that uh, I could film um, the visitor station, um, but he didn't want me filming the dispatch station. Anyways, it was, it was, it was public. It's all in public. So then he got, um, he physically intimidated me. He got in my face. He actually did make contact with me and he told me that he was... Uh, giving me a lawful command that I was being trespassed without a trespass notice and I need police assistance because I'm pretty sure he can't issue me a lawful command and I can't be trespassed without being served a trespass so you I'm also are in danger of getting locked up so think carefully about what you do and how you do it because that that could also be considering uh, considered interference with a lawful government right but I'm in a public I'm place just you gotta be careful here because... Right, well I'm outside now because he said that he was giving me a lawful command. I don't believe he has the ability to, but when he asked us to leave, we did. And now that's why I'm requesting police assistance um, to figure out, you know, what exactly they can... Because I've, I've done this at MCI Cedar Junction, um, the Essex County Jail, and it's, it's public access. I'm not going into any restricted areas. I'm not being disorderly. I'm not causing a commotion. And I'm pretty sure I was well within my rights to stay right where I was. Um, he said we were fine to film, but the moment he asked me to leave, I did. I took it as a lawful command, but I'm just, I just don't think it is a lawful command. But, I mean, I don't see how I could be subject to arrest. If I'm filming in a public place and when I'm asked to leave, I do. Right now, I'm asking for police assistance because I, I believe that my rights are being violated and I would like to figure out what's going on. Okay, what's your name? Um, I'd rather give my name to the officer when he gets here just because I'm, I'm, I don't want to give him this. The officer in there has a camera and his hand was shaking and they look, you know, I'm just, I'd rather speak to someone when they get here just because I'm, I'm kind of well, concerned. I'm not play games here. Neither okay, am I. I'm going to try 
to help you out. Thank you. If you're not going to be cordial enough to give me your name so we know who we're going to see. Oh, okay. That, that's fine for that purpose. I thought you were trying to take like a report over the phone. My name is Josh. No. Okay. And what phone number are you at, Josh? Um, I don't actually have access to my phone number because it's running live right now and it's a brand new number. So I wouldn't be able to do it without pulling it in. But I'm just right out in front of the main entrance. And I'm, I'm standing on the public sidewalk here, so that way we're not even um, in there on the property. All right, I'll put a call in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so he says um, you better be careful if you want to get locked up. Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, I'd like to know, like, you know, how I could, how I could or would get locked up for this. Did you get that guy, that gentleman that was threatening you? Did you get his name? Uh, yeah, I have it on film. I, I, I can't recall it off the top of my head. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire today. So everything's on film. We're not being disorderly. Um, you know, we went in there filming. He actually didn't have a problem with us filming. His problem was us shining the camera at the, at the glass where the dispatch center was. And, um, you know, I, if you want privacy, you have to create it. So... We came out here anyways because he said he gave us a lawful command. I don't think he has the ability to give us a lawful command. So that's why I'm calling the people who can give us a lawful command. But that, that, that cop that we spoke to sounded like he wanted to escalate it because he was like, be careful, you want to get locked up. Um, so stay tuned and stay live because, you know, I want, I want there to be many witnesses to what's happening here today. Hopefully the police will honor their oath. What's going on, Jonathan? Thank you. Not yet. Morad is not. Uh, Councilwoman Morad has not returned my phone call. Scott from production, what's going on? All right, guys, so just to update you, we came to the Valley Street Jail in New Manchester, New Hampshire to conduct a First Amendment audit. Um, they were actually passing, doing a great job. They weren't giving us a hard time. And then the sergeant came out with, uh, a lieutenant came out with another sergeant and another officer. His hand was shaking like he was scared to death something was going to happen, which is never a good sign when their hands shake. And um, he told us we could film anything we wanted. Um, we just couldn't film the dispatch room. Well, the dispatch room isn't in a, um, you know, an unauthorized access point. He... Huh? This is a public sidewalk. <laughs> I know you are. How's it going, man? How you doing, brother? Not too bad. Good to see you. Welcome to New Hampshire. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. How you doing? Good, good. How you, good. Uh, text you? Hot Hi. truck girl. Yeah. Hi. I, I did. I, you, I just watched you guys two seconds ago. Yeah, they're telling us. So I was just giving people an update. They they were passing. They didn't give us a hard time. Then they came out, and the guy holding the camcorder, his hands shaking, and he's like, "You can record anything you, you want." They but had you a big lawsuit on um, a homeless guy, and uh, he'll say, "I don't know." Allegedly. Uh, allegedly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they paid a lot of money out for it, so. They're kind of yep. watching their P's and Q's. Well, not right now, because they told me I could film anything in the lobby. I just couldn't point my camera at the dispatch room. And I was explaining... Can't you, get a list of, uh, can't you get a list of who's in there? I always like that one. No, well... They supposed to, like... Uh, I did it. Well, the guys that came out ID'd, um, but they gave us a lawful command to leave because we were filming in a public place and they weren't creating privacy. So now we called the... Manchester Police Department to come down. However, the cop was like, be careful if you want to get locked up. So I'm not sure if he wants to escalate the situation or if he oh, wants to educate them today. They're miles, man. Like, if you look at a jaywalking thing here, you'll have uh, 30 cops on, on you. What? You know? They're crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? They love, oh yeah, they're, they're wolf pack. That's what I, you know. I, I assumed, I, anything, you know. I assumed you? that. No. I watched you before I watched them. Oh, thank you. I was already wondering what, what happened. Yeah, I got a new channel. Did you, yeah? Yeah, you're live now. Uh, wow. I'm just gonna, I'm not leaving you, but I just want to check, see if they're here yet. Big Nick, yeah, he's good. Him, yeah. Auditing America's in South Auditing Carolina. America. With News Now, cool, South like, Carolina. Uh, Auditing America, you two, it's like, you know, I think it, 
I was, you know, I kept the saying to team. myself that you're going to get on TV, you're going to do, you know what I mean? Because you got the mouth for it. Mm-hmm. Well, you, thanks, you got man. The, like the, you know. I appreciate that. I have a... Uh, so what's, what's up in New Hampshire? What's up in New Hampshire? So we're just waiting for the officer's assistance today. So, you know, he says he gave me a lawful command. I don't think he has the legal ability to issue a lawful command, and he hasn't issued me a trespass, but we left. And the reason I don't fight it, as soon as they say lawful command, I'll leave right away. Because the moment they give me a lawful command that they don't have the ability to give, and they say, I'm giving you a lawful command under penalty of whatever to leave here, I'm taking that. Because they're, the moment I step out that door, they've just violated my First Amendment right. And they violated my civil rights and gave me an unlawful command posed as a lawful command. So that's why I do that. Scrolling through the comments. I'm not sure. We can ask Granite, uh, Granite State live streams. What's up, Marty Crystal Floyd? Shout out to Marty Crystal Floyd. That, I've watched videos, maybe they're like a year old or something. Oh, she lost it. When her rights are violated, oh yeah, man. Oh, man. They assaulted her. No, because he had my phone. He was. I was on the phone well, with them. You gonna yell at him? I was like, hey, no. Hey, granted. That's just why you're opening the doors for her and everything. Why don't you go over and like. You, you know, your friends out there talking to nutsos that just almost wanted to beat you. you leave yeah, well, by, you know you what leave we by yourself. You know what we figured out. Right. The guy <laughs> had on the guy. Ten for herself, did you hear? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even. I wasn't even paying attention <laughs> when I get. No, 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 when I get in the zone, I just totally lose it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Grand State, they want to know if um, weed is legal yet in New Hampshire. Oh, we were just talking about I that. I know, we were just talking it's about that. It's legal, but they don't sell it anywhere. What's that? Gotcha. Marijuana. So it's well, legal, but yeah. they don't sell it anywhere. So I guess it's like a reciprocity thing where it's legal to have, but they just make it impossible to get it. I'm not on the road, bud. I'm on the sidewalk. So... Hopefully the uh, police get here soon. There's a follow-up for everything, guys. There's always a follow-up. If some place violates our right, we don't just leave that place. Um, you know, we, we always follow up. Always, always, always. Going to Chicago on the 27th of this month in just a few days to do an audit with uh, accountability for Chicago. I'm sure, Barbara, they will take their time. What's going on, Furco? So I went to um, college. I have a bachelor's degree in restaurant management, but I had a minor in um, American early American history. So I'm pretty aware of the Constitution, the laws. Um, I consult with um, my attorney, and I study a lot of other auditors. So. Now, is this a jail van or is this the Manchester Police Department? Okay. I'm trying to figure out if this is a jail van or the Manchester Police yeah, Department. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a paddy wagon, yeah. The Manchester Police. So he drove by us to try and get his attention, but he kept going. We get recognized everywhere. We really appreciate that. Just because people, you know, we appreciate the support and the love. I know I I, I recognize because I've spoke to him online and I thought I recognized the picture. So when he was like, "You're not allowed to film here," I was like, "Oh yeah, what law states that?" <laughs> it's uh, time number three. We were recognized. Honked at. Someone pulled over. Now he got out of his car. That's really awesome. Thank you, Tyler. Hampton. You gotta go to Hampton, brother. 
Bring your suit with you and go swimming anywhere. Oh but man, I love Hampton you Beach. You go to Hampton, man, because Hampton's crazy, you know, in the summer. The cops are, yeah, the cops well, get pretty crazy yeah. up there. I mean, at least when I was a kid, I haven't been there in a while. Yeah. Like well, thank you, Ken. Got another wave. Hey, Red, thank you so much, man. <laughs> you silly. Indoor smokers, guys, please click, share, like, and subscribe. Hey, Granite. Sorry to interrupt. We have indoor smokers. He has f almost over, almost to a half, over half a million subs, and he does um, uh, indoor. He's the best. Cool. What's up? Thanks, indoor smokers. Please click, share, like, and subscribe to Indoor Smokers. Guy's got an awesome channel. I've actually been a fan um, and watching some of his videos, and um, I saw his his um, comment. Uh, or I think I saw that he was subscribed and I just dropped him a little comment showing the love because I love what he does Love his channel. You guys really got to check out indoor smokers What's up Pikes Peak? I hope it goes well too, man First Amendment is always the uh Where are these guys? And that's the reason I stopped you today. So is there another entrance? Is there another entrance? Is there another entrance that they could pull in? She said there was another entrance. There was? Oh, there is. Oh, just the door. But this is the only place they could pull in. Oh. The police, right? Yeah, they would probably pull in here. Okay. All right. Have you been to the police? Uh, not yet, not yet, but I think we might be getting yeah, a two for one audit. The other day, somebody pulled a gun out there. Did they? They didn't shoot nobody. They didn't kill nobody. Wow, they didn't. They didn't kill anyone today. No, 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 no that day when they pulled, someone pulled a gun out of them. Oh man, they well, I guess they that's tase them. They, they tase you know them, I mean? yeah. That was all part of the thing. They did not shoot them or tase them, so they picked tase them. Good for him, I guess. Well, yeah, he lucked out there. Yeah. Some that's of these cops funny. like to, you know, Dude, shoot first. Weight off, or is it that way too? My camera? No, my yeah, camera takes away. My camera takes away 20 pounds unless it's in selfie mode. Then it adds 150. Okay. Here we go. But only when it's looking at me. <laughs> I just always felt sorry for the people that that camera's pointing at. I'm like, now I'm wanting it. My heart just going like, uh. <laughs> We got 455 people watching. We really appreciate it. We'll give you an update of what's going on. We came here to the Valley Street Jail to conduct the First Amendment audit. They were really nice. They didn't bother us. They let us do their thing. And then three of them came out and they told us uh, we were welcome to film in a public place, which I was already aware of. One sergeant, he was holding a, a video cam and his hand was shaking. Like he was so nervous and that makes you scared because you can see someone that can carry a gun or a weapon, their hand shaking like that being so nervous. It creates some concern. They told us we could film anything that we wanted. We just couldn't point the camera towards the, the glass. And um, I was saying like, if you want privacy, you need to create it. You know, it's a, I can film what I can see in public, and if I could see it, I could film it. And he didn't like that, so he told me that he was giving me a lawful command to leave. And I don't think he can give me a lawful command because he's not a law enforcement officer. He's a sworn correctional officer. But I took that lawful command all day because the moment he gives me a lawful command and he tells me I have to leave because I'm filming, the moment I walk out that door, he has just violated my civil rights. Uh, we want to bring awareness to the people that do that. Um, so right now we are waiting for the Manchester police to arrive because I called and requested assistance so we can figure out um, if they have, you know, police powers and, you know, if what they're doing is legal today. What's going on, man? I hear sirens. I wonder if that's for us. Oh, there's a jaywalker over there. Yeah. Jaywalker. Oh, so the Manchester police are definitely taking their time getting here. Been waiting outside for about 15 minutes. I feel like they're not coming home. 
I mean, I might call back again in a second. Now, I think they're definitely ignoring me. So I might have to call back again because we need to get some answers here today. What's going on, Jerusalem Khalid? Yeah. You're right into our smokers. Hey, uh, hey police, I saw a guy filming in a public place. We have a 1024, 1025. We have a guy that's armed and dangerous. He shoots frames per second. We need you to step it up, stat. Hey, Joseph, thank you so much. Beverly, Mass. I would love to go to Beverly, Mass. It's right around the corner, Joe. You can consider that done. Josh. What's up, man? Like I said, I, I, uh, I my number and address, man. It's right up, pretty much up the street there, on all streets, so. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with them. I just get yeah, so whatever, many freaking messages. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, she got my uh, thing if, if you guys need anything. Um, awesome, you, man. You gotta, you know, take a piss. I don't really care. That'd be great, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you very are, much. Uh, you're all good people in my in my Thank you so much. much. It was nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. I, I kind of know them, their faces on the thing all the time. But yeah, I try not to show my faces. <laughs> but I haven't heard from you in a while, so it's not. Yeah, I've been That's kinda... Google, too. You know, setting up the shit that you're going to want. They're going to tell you what they want. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to call the Manchester Police Department. I mean, if they're not going to come, then they're just not going to come. There's not much more that I can do. Um, because. Here's how I roll, right? I want them to come here so we can get on film them saying that these jail guards are idiots and that they're wrong, and then we go back in and keep filming just like I said we would. However, if the Manchester police are not going to come here, um, I have, you know, I'm not. Nice to, you, nice to meet you as well, bud. Um, if they're just purposely going to ignore me. You guys, oh, they're not looking good. You are. And they're purposely going to ignore me. What I do is I take this video footage, I set up an appointment with their commanding officer or their deputy, and then I come back here and sit down because here's the thing. I need to conduct this audit successfully. I need him to violate my rights, right? If I go back inside and he doesn't kick me out, then maybe there was a miscommunication before and it's all good now, problem solved without police assistance. But he told me to leave. He said it was lawful, it wasn't, and he did it because I was filming. So I need my rights to stay violated to be able to hold these guys accountable. So if we have to go to the Manchester Police Department, that's what we'll do. Yeah, how far is the police department? Can you check out the Manchester Police Department? Maybe I'll call them again to see if they're coming before I leave. Almost 500 people watching. Thank you so much. It's it's how long? All right, guys. So we're only three minutes away. We're gonna go to the Manchester Police Department since they um, don't want to come here. It's a three-minute drive. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna keep this live stream going because now we're going to the Manchester Police Department. If they don't want to assist citizens whose rights are being violated, I think is what's going on here today. And I could just leave, but I really don't want to let this go. Like my rights are not gonna be violated as if they're throwing out like an empty cup of cup of Joe. That's not gonna happen. So we're only three minutes away, so stay tuned because we're going there now since they don't want to come to us. And I think he was hoping I'd just leave because he was like, well, you'll be careful you don't get locked up. Like what? Like, God forbid I'm filming in a public place that's funded by public tax dollars. I mean, the real concern shouldn't, me, shouldn't be me exhibiting my First Amendment right. The first con concern should be that my rights are getting violated and the, the correctional officer uh, imposter should be held accountable because he's wearing my badge and my uniform, but he's violating my rights. So he's no longer in uniform. Did you notice he kept saying my building, get out of my 
high building. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was super um, possessive. Yeah. I have it like right from the side. Everybody just one step forward, one step forward. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, see that guy's hand like, shaking? He was on the camera like this. Imagine if he was a cop. He would have fired first. He would have been one of those guys that was reaching for his taser, but grabbed his gun by accident and shot somebody dead. Yep. So I think they probably figured that out at the police department, and that's why he's a corrections officer. Well, he better correct himself because he's not doing a great job of what he does. So we're going to the police station right now, guys. Oh yeah, they are, they'll 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 shoot you in the head for jaywalking here. I don't want to do that. Only two, uh, two or three minutes away from the police department, so we're just gonna go there. And they're watching, oh, for sure. All right, guys, this announcement has been brought to you in part by Hot Tow Truck Girl. Um, you know, there's a lot of future ahead of us, but sometimes it's, you know, better to look at what's behind. Sorry, my camera wandered. Hey, I'm AFA walking, not jaywalking. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. So we're going to the police station here today to find out why they won't help us when our rights are being violated. I want to be in the video. What's going on, man? I want to be in the video. I want to be in the video. And then be in the video. You got 500 people watching. Oh. Manchester. I ain't gonna tell you what we do out here, but you could have been. And, and keep on keeping on, brother. All right, brother. You are ready, man. All right, you know who we are? Cool. Accountability for All, Auditing America. We do First Amendment audits, so we went just went into the jail, held them accountable. The guy was so scared of us, his hands shaking Yo, like fuck that. The gym. Real. Fuck the gym. Yep. Fuck the FTP. I'm you know what the first two letters? You know what the first two letters of cocksucker are? You know what it is. CO. Yo. Bang. Bang. All right. All right, guys. Yeah. Um, Pete, Pete, it's possible that Pete could be doing that. I don't know Pete, though. So, guys, I'm just going to grab a quick... Do you want a coffee? Yes, please. All right. Do you want a... No. All right, just grab... Okay. Just grabbing a quick coffee because I need to rehydrate with some caffeine because I'm going near tyrants. We're only two minutes away, guys, and this is going to be crazy. I have the feeling the police are just going to try and arrest me. Um, it's totally possible that the police might try and do that. I'm only shining the camera away because I'm in a private establishment and I'm just grabbing a coffee. What's going on, man? Can I please have a large iced coffee with five milk and two sugars? Could I have a medium iced coconut with almond milk and a... You guys have strawberry frosted. Hot tow truck girl loves strawberry frosted. Uh, yeah, have that. Unfortunately, Let's do chocolate frosted. Chocolate frosted? Yeah. Just one? Just one, please. Hot tow truck girl loves frosted. 716. All right. Hey, you guys should um, check out my YouTube channel. It's called Accountability for All. And uh, we're actually live right now. We got close to, we got 400 people watching. So you should check us out, man. We're doing the right thing. We're out there protecting your rights. All right, guys, so stay tuned. We're going to be there in uh, two seconds. Frosted, chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, they, they're, I have a feeling they're not going to come because they're just going to ignore us and think that we're just going to take that short. Thanks, bud. You too, man. But we're not going to take that short. You know, the, here's the issue, guys. The government wants to hold us accountable, okay? Well, I'm not going to obey the laws they enforce when they, when they violate them themselves. Thanks, bud. Um, no, I'll be all right. Thank you. I used to be a manager for a restaurant, guys. Hold on a sec so I can carry everything. <laughs> Bang. Refreshed and ready to hold some tyrants accountable. Ow. That hurt. You know, I always used to say I hit my funny bone. I don't know why they call it a funny bone because I've never hit it and laughed and then someone told me that the bone's called the humerus. All right, you want to give me a hand on tow truck girl, please? Can you give me a hand? Yep. All right, we're on our way to the police department. Let's head out. They only have chocolate frosted. What? You can just put it in because he's still alive. All right, um, well, hold on, I gotta give the directions. Yes. 
That's okay. Just put in your phone number. Oh, my number? Yeah. All right. So we are headed to the Manchester Police Department so they can, um, you know, they can let us know that so it's just fine to go back in once there. Once it's installed and you have a username, just click on that and you'll that's the invite. Okay. Thank you. You got the directions? Yes. All right. Here we Tell go. Her, don't go into this. And then she's like, oh, downloaded. <laughs> Oh, no, that's Manchester Police Athletic League. All right, hold on, guys. I have to type it in because um, Hot Tow Truck Girl is having problems, I guess. Because a hundred things she just come couldn't, up. She couldn't just click the first response that was that right was there. That was the first one. It was the Police, Ath police Athletic League. Three minutes away, um, Hot Tow Truck Girl is having uh, technical difficulties. It's difficult uh. when she's dealing with any technically. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm being kind of mean. I'm being a bully. I'm being a tyrant. So anti-tyrant, you become one. Yes. I'm, I'm infected with tyrant. A cop you called me a tyrant earlier today. Uh, she was a tyrant. No, it's not. A cop one time, he was like, oh, you know, he was trying to escalate the situation. So he was trying to say I was drunk or on something. And I said, I am on something. I'm under the influence. And he couldn't resist himself. He'd been controlling the situation the whole time. But then he becomes quiet, hoping I'll incriminate myself. And I go, I'm under the influence of tyrant. So here's what you say. When they ask, are you under the influence of drugs, you say, are you? Donuts. Yes, I love that. <laughs> still not here, guys. So it's a good thing that we're driving there because they're still not there. Still not there. That's all right. We'll go there. What's going on, Tony? The nickname uh, Hot Tow Truck Girl? Well, she's hot, and they tried to tow her car. Yeah, dereliction of duty for sure. Um, no, walking was 16 minutes, but driving was three minutes, so we, we hopped in the car. The car. Breaking the flood. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous, 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 okay? And the goddamn lefties are trying to take our guns. You know who takes your guns? People with guns. You sound like Trump. You don't sound like Trump. <laughs> oh, my bad. I sound like Trump. <laughs> yeah. Okay, people, I'm with Joe at Orga here. It's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I've known Joe since he was just a little baby. In fact, I taught him his first word. It was Trump and Wall. What's up, Marty Crystal Floyd? Young Kwan, if you are from Korea, which Korea are you from? North Korea or South Korea? We are wearing, uh, I think we're wearing seatbelts. I know my seatbelt thing is not going off. Well, guess what? It's you not the law there. in New Hampshire. Huh? You don't have to. Oh, boom. Live free or die. Live free or die, except if you have a camera in a public place, then you're most likely to die. <laughs> I bet you can make that rhyme if you really I know Kim Jong-un. is Actually, one of my subscribers' name is Kim Jong-un with a picture of Kim Jong-un. So maybe Kim is uh, a fan. They are so white. I love new socks. Um, I am with two New Hampshire residents, John, who tell me that that is the case. A oh, one New Hampshire resident. So, guys, just to let you know, if you're just tuning in, we are at the New. We're coming up to the Manchester Police Department. Uh, we went in filming at the Valley Street Jail. We were told that was fine. We just couldn't point the camera at the glass where the cops are in, and it's public. They need to create privacy if they want privacy. Um, so he gave us a lawful command to leave, which I know he doesn't have the ability to give a lawful command, but I took that lawful command because the moment he gives me a lawful command to leave because I'm filming, he's just violated my rights. What's up, Hawkeye Patriot News? We're just rolling up to the police department now and we are here because uh, we want to know why our rights were just violated by the jail. Go ahead, honey. That must green be the light. same paddy wagon. Do that Look. Yeah. So, you know, that's the police department. Right, right here. I know. It's well, like... hot tow truck girl yeah, is gonna surgically. Give you a punch in the face in a second. A tyrant. Meow. I'm going to call her hot tyrant girl. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, this is Michael Briggs Public Safety Building. Have you. 
heard of Michael Briggs? No. No, I just heard a sign about him. He's a police officer that was killed in 2006. He was a bike officer, and um, Michael Addison shot him and killed him. He's the only person on New Hampshire's death row, and he's been there since, like, 2008 or something like that. Oh, hmm. Jesus. Yeah. The only person on their death row. Yep. That's wild. Three hundred three cop block. What's going on? Just had our rights violated. We were giving a lawful command, and people are gonna say, "Oh, you left. You didn't have to leave." Yeah, but if I stayed, they, they don't learn anything. I, they can't arrest me, so I would have stayed there, and that's problems over. However, if he gives me a lawful command to leave when he doesn't have that ability because I'm filming, and then I leave, he's then violated my civil rights, and we can make sure they learn so they don't do it again. Okay. All right, thank you. thank you, dear. Hi, um, I called for police assistance and no one came, so I had to come here. Okay. Can I speak? Are you recording me? Yeah, yeah. Can I speak to a police officer, please? What's your address? What was the complaint? Um, I was at the Valley Street Jail calling for assistance on the sidewalk. I called, I called 25 minutes ago. Um, I'm going to keep recording. It's a public building. What was it for? Um, I was calling for assistance. Can I speak to a police officer, please? But I'm asking, what was it for so I can, I can find out? It was because we, we had, um, we feel uh, our rights were violated at the jail and we wanted to speak to a police officer. Thank you. Well, I, had a, I don't even know if she's a dispatcher, but she sure has a lot of questions and a problem with me filming. This is not a good start. They're in a little fishbowl, look. Not a good start. I would hate working in a little office like that. Yeah. At least she has clients that she needs them. Yeah, she can create privacy. They, they apparently love to create privacy here. <laughs> Wonder what they're hiding. I've never tried to hide unless I've done something wrong, so. Yeah, you just don't want to deal with the idiots. I hear ya. Well, they do have people's personal information right there. Um, name and phone number on several different items. They have IDs, so thank you for mentioning that because we can have them create privacy for those individuals because all, I, all anyone would have to do is take their personal name and stuff. What's up, Jaded? Oh, they have assault sticks? Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine how comfortable those ones were. They weren't designed. Oh, look at the torture devices they have. <laughs> wow, these are the Manchester Police Torture Department. Those are cool. Yeah, they're cool. So we're at the Manchester Policy Department. I hear cuffs and keys jingling. 510 people watching, thank you very much. Oh, they all, hey listen, at the, uh, at the Lynn Police Department, they actually have a credit union inside the PD. Oh, nice. You walk in and it's, a, and it's run by the police department. It's not like a private entity. I was at the Boston Police Department the other, well I drove by it and they had um, a daycare. Do they really? On site, yeah. Like they had a little kitty. Playground outside. What is it like? So if they arrest somebody, they can watch their kids while they're know. planting drugs on them. I don't know if it's like for the employees. You know, you drop your kids off, or if it's just a community daycare. I don't know. Right. If it's to help the community, I actually think that's not a bad idea. Yeah. This is Chief Carlo T. Capano. To policy and serve. And I'll be out in a minute, okay? okay, thank you. Um, miss, just to let you know, um, I'm not looking at them, but people, there's per people's personal information on there, their phone numbers and their private addresses. Some. Well, that's what you should not be looking at. This is something. Well, no, this is you have to create privacy. So thank you for putting those away. I shouldn't be filming because they're doing the wrong thing. 
Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We just wanna we just wanna help you know their preserve their privacy. It's my fault that she left people's personal information out, and I'm being nice enough to tell her so she can create privacy. But it's my fault because she made a mistake. 530 people walk, watching, appreciate that. Oh my God, who made the donation? Guys, I, I wasn't looking at the camera. Could someone give the name of who um, gave that those donations? And just to let you know, guys, Granite State is doing some great work with us, so I'm going to be um, you know, giving her a share of those proceeds. Um, but who made the donation? Can anyone tell me? Indoor Smoker. Oh, thanks, man. Really appreciate that, Indoor Smoker. And to everyone else that made a donation today. What, dear? Joe wanted to know what the fee was for, for the ATM. It didn't say probably until you go to take your money out. The, um, the AEM. The automatic extortion machine. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's the automatic extortion machine. The police's tagline should be, there's a fee for that. I think it's great because they, um, you can probably commit any crime and if you have money, you can get out of it. But if you don't have money, then you're in jail. Uh, Jake's even if they don't want to state it in those terms. Jake says that ETM probably runs your information. I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. Yeah. Here you go. Ready? This public service announcement has been brought to you in part by the Manchester Police Department. Come on down, because you know what? If you lost something, we'll help you find it while we're already searching you and planting drugs in your vehicle. Privacy is not a consideration, but enforcing our policies is. Please join. Thank you. Oh, I have seen that. It was a big deal. You know what? Where we were, we were actually in... I think it was this station. Is the public works right across the street? Yeah. Yeah. We audited this station with breaking the flaw. Oh. We did the Department of Public Works. The video's called uh, Hit the Panic Button because we went in there with cameras and she, she went to hit the Does panic that button. Does sound familiar? That's why, that's why this place looks so familiar. I was like, I knew I've seen it before. We have audited this station and the Department of Public Works. They were actually nice at this police station when we came here to audit them. They passed. Do you remember auditing this police station? Hmm? I'm seeing if you remember if breaking the floor remembers because you just remember it. Yeah, Joe, I remember it's the um, panic button and they had a $5 fee for whining. So that's how they were. And they have trash barrels that make you buy their trash barrels with special tags and stuff. So you either don't get your t trash taken out or you have to pay $25 uh, for their barrels. I get it, okay. So each barrel is five people whining with a $5 fee. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get some damn service here. Um, they do have cameras right there, right there. They do have cameras here. I think it's my camera that's, I think they think is the scariest. Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, thank God, Hawkeye. I mean, really? Like, we go into, oh, here's a police officer coming in. Is he going to help us? Oh, I don't know if he's here to help us, but I'm going to... Hi, officer. Good. How are you? Um, could I speak to you? I've been asking for a police officer. Yeah, I'm here for you. Oh, awesome. How are you? Can I have your uh, badge number, please? 135. 135. Hi. Yeah. So um, we're here today, uh, and we went to the Valley Street Jail right up the street. Yep. And we went inside recording. There was no problems with that. The sergeant, the lieutenant, and the other officer came out and told us that it was absolutely fine to record. He just didn't want us aiming. The, in the, the lobby, not like a restricted area. He didn't want us aiming the phone at like the glass window where the officers are behind. Yep. And I was just letting him know that it, it's in it's in public, right? Like I'm not interfering with any business. I'm That's not. That's their policy. Right. They had visitors visiting hours coming up. 
I spoke to them. You did? Their, yeah, their concern was that you were filming their control room, which is, I guess, a private section of their private right. area. Okay, they had... And then, and then they had visiting hours coming up, mm -hmm. and that's just privacy for for people that are that are, are dealing with that stuff. Right, right. and I understood so. what he was saying. My concern was like, that's within the lobby, right? So I can't trespass what my eyes can see. And he was telling me that I had to leave. He was giving me a lawful command because he had the power to arrest me um, because I was filming that station. And that's that's like if Officer High Officer Tucker, if Officer Tucker was like, you can film everything here. It's in public but I don't want you filming the dispatch room. It, it's in public, you would need to create privacy. So that was like a minor concern. My major concern is he told me that it was, I didn't know if he had a lot. Do you want to have this conversation yeah, inside? Yeah, we can, that's in fine. The, in the interview room? Sure, if you want it's, to. Yeah, it's like audio and video recorded in there. It's a little more formal. Okay. If people show up, they're not gonna get in your business. That's yeah. fine, so yeah, man, you. absolutely. Thanks, Officer Tucker. I thought this place looked familiar, but that's because I was here a couple days ago, and uh, you guys were actually pretty nice. You guys did well. What were you here for? We were just conducting a, um, well, we like to film public places and public officials within the capacity of their duties. Uh -huh. Just check in and see where the tax dollars are going. Now, you're from Massachusetts? So just because we're on a yeah. I'm going to do a quick path. I'll make sure you have any weapons. Uh, I don't conduct any searches. We can continue it out there. I'm not... We'll go through the, uh, the machine now. I mean, well, I can just have the conversation right here because I don't. Um, regardless whether or not we're we safe, have a right here to be safe. There, we need to make sure that we're safe, right? Do you have a reason to believe that I pose a danger to you? It's a policy. So, everyone, I just want to make sure this is right. Everyone that comes in this police station by law has to go through that metal detector. No, that's not right, but we have a right okay. to protect ourselves, right? And if we're going to go into that interview room. Well, then I guess we can just talk right here then. All right. Um, so, my. I still want you to go through that. Yeah, this. Well, I don't submit to any search, search or seizure. It's not a search. You're gonna go through the middle of the third and we're not gonna have this conversation. Well, I mean, then I, wanna, to then I wanna speak to your supervisor. I've given you no reason to believe that I would be unsafe to you. And I think the reason you asked me to come in was not for it to be more formal, but so you could try and issue some type of search or run me through a metal detector. The so last if we thing want- to do is touch you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad. Right? Because I don't want but you to be touching me. Right. Right. Okay, well, there's no reason for you to be unsafe. So I'm not gonna submit right. to any well, searches. We don't know that well, you, your your job is to assume that a crime isn't in progress, or that no, there would be no issue for officer safety. Are you a police officer? No, okay, I'm here so to make. Don't tell us what our job is, because well, you don't know what our job is. Well, here's the problem, right? You're trying to tell me that it's a policy to come in here for your safety, like no, my. I'm saying if we want to talk in the room, it's that, a well, you, that you asked me to talk there. I don't need to right, talk for there. Your privacy. Why do you want everybody else? I have to five. I have six hundred people watching. I'm not worried about my privacy. Like I don't care. I'm, I'm transparent. I don't have anything to hide. So what's your concern? Okay, so my concern is um, that he told me he was giving me a lawful command. I did not, the lieutenant within the, at the Valley Street Jail. Um, yeah, so we went there just to conduct a little bit of filming in the lobby. He came out to let us know that filming in the lobby was fine. He just didn't want us to show the camera towards um, where, the, where the control room is. Um, so we didn't go in any unauthorized access points. So my, what I was saying is, this is all public. That's like you telling me it's legal for me to film, but you can arrest me if I go like that towards the control room. So, so what's your concern? So my concern is he told me, he gave me a lawful command to leave, uh -huh. that I was being, um, he didn't give me a trespass notice. He was telling, so I didn't think he had the ability to give me a he lawful does. command. He can tell you to leave if he doesn't want to. They are in charge of Valley Street Jail. They have every lawful authority. If they have a reason to believe that security might be an issue, for you to leave. And if you're audio recording and video recording, the sec secure, the control room, absolutely. They have a right to ask. But it's you. not secure. Like, the control room stays behind that door, okay? And this unauthorized, the authorized personnel sign is the window. I'm going like this, okay? I'm looking in the window. I can't trespass what my eyes can see, right? So I'm not, I mean, my eyes are, my camera's an extension of my eyes. If I can see it, I can film it. You can't, I can't trespass visually. If he's asking you not to film a specific area, the Valley Street Jail, he has every right to request. Not that. in public access. I've done this at MCI Cedar but Junction. Room, listen, can you walk into that room? No. No. So it's not public, right? It's a the private room area itself. I couldn't go building. into, but the window it's but open to the public. Can be on that window. Right, can you but go in there? you cannot trespass if I can see it. No, I can't no, walk in there. So it's it's question, I did. I said I can't walk in there. Right. But if I can see it, I can. What do you want done? What are you expecting to have done? So. You've answered my question. You said that he has he has the ability to issue lawful commands. So I want to know what's 
going to be the consequence if I go back in there filming. If he issues you a lawful command to cease and desist, and you go back in, is that what Well, he hasn't that? given me a trespass. So is that what happens? I go there and he gives me a trespass notice? Because I have every intention to go back there and continue well, we filming. We can verbally trespass you here if we call him and he doesn't want you back. Well, that would be illegally soliciting a trespass notice. You as law enforcement don't have the ability to do that. In fact, the, the chief of police in Malden tried to do that with the DTA. Well, this isn't Malden. So, well, it's still illegal. It's still illegal to solicit a trespass in the so state of New Hampshire. So, we have that opinion, and we have our opinion, and that's something we well, would see. Well, it's not opinion; court. that's law. We would see it in court. All right. So, if I go back in there, uh, so is that what you're doing? You're issuing me a trespass no, notice. We're explaining things to you. Okay. So, so I'm not we're trespassed. We're telling you that you can go back there, but if he issues you a lawful order to leave, you have to leave. Okay. So I thank if you. Don't you. Leave, then you're being okay. Right. So, so I'm completely clear. I'm within my rights to walk in and film. However, if he asks me to leave, I must leave. And as long as I obey that, now I'm being told it's a lawful command, then I have no problems. If I was to stay, then I would be violating it. He tells you to leave. He already asked you to leave, correct? Yeah, he's, he said that he wanted us to leave. He said he wasn't trespassing us. He said um, that so he's asking you've already, us. You've already like, answered your own question. He told you that he's not trespassing you, so you haven't been trespassed. Right. So you have every right to go back there. And record, but if he asks you to leave for whatever reason, as long as it's lawful, and you refuse to leave, he has every right to call us and we can go over there and make a lawful arrest. Okay, right? so that's fine. I'm going to go over there. It's going to be live. There's a lot of people watching. So if he does give me that lawful command, because I want to figure out who the supervisor is, I will leave um, because I'm taking what you're saying at face value, and I will leave and no, I will take it up, it up with their with their commander. Look it up, right? You okay. know the laws, right? You're not a stupid person. I'm no, I mean, ask, if you ask my girlfriends and my mothers, they'd probably tell it. my mother tell I'm stupid. I'm telling you that you have the ability to look up case law, you have the ability to look up New Hampshire law, and you can mm -hmm. educate yourself on what you can and can't do in a public facility like Valley Street Jail, and I encourage you to do that before you okay. go over there. All right, so um, do you guys just want to let them know that we had this discussion and that I understand what you're telling me, so I'm going to come back there, and if they ask so, me to leave, I'll no, be happy to do so? No, you're... You're more than welcome to go over, right. right? But we're not going to call them and like have this conversation over. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to update them to let them know that you spoke to they us. They know the law just as well as we do. So if, they, right. if they decide to go down that path, that's on them. All right. You know what I, mean? I mean, what's your intent going back? Like, what, what are you looking to do? Okay, so I normally don't tell people what I do, but I will in this instance. I do First Amendment audits. Okay, and I go in and I, I, I film, right? Because yeah. photography and filming is not a crime. And sometimes, like the Chelsea Police Station, they do great. They're super friendly, they ID, they have no problem with you filming. Right. And then there's some places, like, like there or other places, that will say, hey, you can't film here, it's a public place. And those are our civil rights. They're your civil rights. You guys are out there wearing bulletproof vests so you can protect yourself to keep defending our civil liberties. And we want to make sure that that continues. And if someone's doing the right thing, we praise them. And if they're doing the wrong thing, we can bring awareness so that can be corrected so no one's rights get violated. That's all we're trying to do. You know, we're not, we're not posing a threat to anybody. We're just aware of our rights. We're not like sovereign citizens or anything like that. We just believe in the Constitution and believe that it should be followed. It's not a suggestion. It's law. Does that answer your question? It does. Okay. Any all right, guys. No, I think that you've, um, you've been helpful. You've explained it. And um, I appreciate your time. No problem. All right, man. Have a good night. You too. All right, so we're gonna head back there, and if um, if they so now that this guy maybe New Hampshire's different. If this guy tells us to leave, um, it's a lawful command. And we'll leave. and that's how you get out of search and seizure. I'm not being. See how he tried to do that? He tried to lure me into an interview room because it's their policy to interview pe to pat down people in the interview room. Yeah, and they were trying to ask her for her ID. She didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. She doesn't have to she identify. That's me. Got ID. No got ID on you. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck do we need an ID for? Oh sugar. And my phone is about to die. Okay guys, we're heading back. Um, so here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna see if I can get enough charge on my phone. Um, to be able to conduct the live stream uh, there and if I can't then I'm gonna have to post the video tomorrow because my phone is on 1% and this live stream has been going on for an hour and 14 minutes a lot longer than um, than we had planned to so guys 630 people watching we really appreciate it we got these to our questions right 
We're not going to submit to a legal search and seizure. Granite State doesn't give her ID for no reason. Hot tow truck girl doesn't, um, you know, let them violate her Fourth Amendment right. And we're going back there, and we're going to uh, we're going to go inside. And if they give us this verbal command to leave, we're going to obey that command. And we're going to talk to the supervisor, and we're going to bring about some change, some serious change. So um, we appreciate it. Going to take a quick pit stop, use the bathroom. See if I get some charge on my phone. Keep an eye out for the notification. If we uh, if we have enough battery to go live, we will. If not, we will be putting it out tomorrow. We're gonna tell them we're live anyways, just to protect our rights. Because sometimes they're a lot less eager to go hands on or violate you if um, they think you're going live. So hopefully we see you soon. And uh, if we don't, it's only because the phone died. So please click share, like, and subscribe to Granite state live streams she's back in action and she's ready to uh take down some tyrants click share like and subscribe to hashtag hot tow truck girl and uh if you made a donation today i really appreciate that thank you so much we're leaving for chicago on the 27th or tuesday excuse me and we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue to hold people accountable nationwide and uh we're not gonna take violation of our rights and there's one more thing there's one more thing I need to let you guys know. That's the reason I stopped you today.